Hermione. I studied history at university. I chose history as my degree because my brother did history at university uh, as a, in a double degree with international relations. And he was always telling me about the interesting topics he was studying and the different things he was learning. And I always found that really, really interesting. And my history teachers were always my favorite teachers. I really enjoyed history lessons and that made me feel really comfortable taking it to a degree level. I live in Australia, in Melbourne, and I went to Monash University in Melbourne. I moved here just after high school and I was intending to go back to the UK for university, but I visited some Australian universities for comparison and I went to an open day at Monash and I really enjoyed it. The campus was really nice. The course was really good. Everyone was really lovely and friendly and I thought it'd be a great place to study. So I picked that and I loved my doing my degree there. It was great. I obviously, as an Australian degree, I did it slightly differently to a UK degree. It's a lot more based on variety, and that was probably my favourite thing about my course. It's Australian degrees are set up more like American degrees, so you major in a particular subject and you minor in another subject, and around that you can do lots of other topics and subjects that are, uh, are different and allow you to branch out and you get, get a lot of opportunities to do other things. At university, the style of teaching and learning and the style of essay writing as well, actually, is, is very different to school because it's based more around debate and participation. So it's a lot more on discussion rather than learning facts. You use facts as evidence in your debate to put across your argument and convince other people that your interpretation of history or an event in history is the correct one. And along with this, you take part in the wider historical discussion and um, you get involved with public, published literature um, from professional historians and actually use it to be part of the historical community and it, you feel a lot more involved. I studied a lot of different areas of history, mostly medieval and renaissance histories, but I did my dissertation on early modern Britain, specifically juvenile justice um, during that time. So when a child commits a crime, how were they treated by the courts? Um, where they found whether when they were found guilty, what crimes were they, what punishments were they given for said crimes and and generally how childhood was perceived by the justice system during the seventeenth and eighteenth centuries. I picked that topic because I find just how childhood has changed, the idea of childhood has changed and how children are treated just within the last fifty years really interesting. And to put that in another time period is also really, really interesting and shows just how much modern society is changing. And I've not studied much of early modern Britain at all. So I found it really fascinating to dive deep into that time period and just keep learning lots and lots of different things about it. Doing an Australian degree, you're forced to study lots of different subjects outside your faculty fairly regularly, as that's what the, base, the degree is based around doing. That's the idea of it. So it was really easy to do not just history, but to do lots of other things. So I studied economics philosophy, film and television, indigenous cultures, and the list goes on. So it was really, it's always really good to study something else to supplement your degree and your knowledge. And it was really great to meet new people and just get lots more experience and really enjoy university life lot, a lot more like that. I found it really challenging though, to move from the style of learning and, and writing that's used in high school to um, the more of the degree style with debate and um, discussion. And along with the social life and the sudden freedoms that you get by going to university, it made studying really difficult to keep on top of. But it was so fulfilling and it was so exciting and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I finished my degree last year and uh, I'm now working at an energy company in finance, which has nothing to, to do with my degree. But um, as a graduate, they were, give, they were really excited to give me an opportunity and I'm excited to grow and look at different areas that I could work in but I am still considering working in an archive in the future. So I'm looking to do maybe some further study in that area or get a job down the line that's more related to that in a library or in an archive or something like that. For my 18 year old self, my one piece of advice would probably be for an application or anything, a piece of work, a speech, a presentation, anything that you're doing. Uh, if you're considering adding one extra point or you've got something else you think might might be worthwhile saying, just say it, just add it in. If you can't think of anything else, that's great. You've probably already said everything. 
But if there's something extra that you want to add, an extra note, an extra paragraph, an extra point for your argument, add it in because it's not going to take away from anything you've said already. It's just going to add more. And you always want to have yourself set out from everyone else by saying that one extra thing. So that was my experience with a history degree. I really enjoyed it. And whether or not you're considering study his studying history in the future at a degree level, uh, good luck with everything.